Hello, I'm Bernhard and this is my first kitchen counter experiment. Today I will show how a, a plume can push the Indian plate and cause convergence at another part of the plate boundary. This is what the India plate looked like at uh, around 90 million years ago. Down here is the India continent and this is the oceanic part which has been subducted. Now 90 million years ago the Morondova plume which corresponds to the present day Marian hotspot erupted at the boundary of the Indian plate and we show if it erupts it can push the Indian plate and what happened is if it pushes the plate over like this the plate will also rotate and so the northern part of the plate boundary will actually move the opposite direction. Now it's not only the India plate that's affected by the plume but there is also the African plate on the other side. So if the plume pushes the African plate the other direction it will similarly uh, cause the African plate boundary at the northern end move eastward. Now if we have this both effects taken together if the plume pushes the plate apart in the bottom they move together in the top and so that means convergence is caused in this part of the plate boundary and possibly subduction is being initiated. Now we also see um, if, uh, if there is a thick um, lithospheric root which couples the plate better to the underlying mantle in this region whereas elsewhere um, the low viscosity asthenosphere decouples the plates. We simulate this root now by this one cent and we see what happens now if the plume pushes the plate then the convergence at the northern part becomes even bigger because basically the plate is coupled to the underlying mantle at this piece of thick continental route.